Hello, my name is George Bell, an investment analyst here at True Potential. Last week we saw a gathering of the world's 20 largest and most influential nations for the half annual G20 summit in Osaka, Japan. The G20 is simply an abbreviation of the Group of 20. It is an international forum bringing together 19 of the world's leading industrialised and emerging countries. The European Union is represented as a single member, bringing the total to 20. Collectively, these nations formulate 90% of the gross world product, 80% of world trade, two-thirds of the global population and approximately half the Earth's land mass. So what happened at this event? Well, although different aspects are discussed at each gathering, the greatest amount of focus at the Osaka meeting was on three key areas, all important topics for the global economy. The first related to technology. G20 members voiced their excitement for the opportunities that new innovations in technology can deliver. They discussed blockchain, artificial intelligence and 5G, as well as the growing benefits from robotics on a global aging population. The second was in reference to climate change. In the previous summit, G20 members expressed their discontent about the US administration and their disruptive role. Contrary to the current upswell in public opinion favouring tackling climate change, the current US administration under Donald Trump is withdrawn from the Paris Climate Agreement. The long-term goal of this accord is to keep a global temperature rise this century well below 2 degrees Celsius. Scrutiny was also directed towards this year's hosts, Japan, and following the nuclear disaster in 2011, Japan have lost output and confidence from nuclear power plants and are becoming increasingly dependent on coal, which is now a major source of energy, but also pollution. They are the only developed country still building new coal plants. Further, they are the biggest funder of coal projects internationally. The final and arguably most anticipated theme was international trade. In the lead up to the summit, strains between superpowers China and the US were very evident. Hopes of a thaw portrayed by the media as being extremely unlikely turned out to be a reality. In typical Trump fashion, he wrong-footed the doomsayers. Both countries agreed to continue negotiations, causing the stock market to rally, reaching a new high. Further, the EU and Mercosur, the South American trading bloc, announced a new political agreement, an outcome that took 20 years to formulate. So what happens next? Well, the key message from leaders at the G20 is that heightened geopolitical tensions restrain investment, curtail global economic development and potentially damage growth. Trump and G are intent on finding a resolution on trade, although even after this is settled, jockeying for global dominance between the two parties is unlikely to end anytime soon. Back to the negotiation table on trade after the G20 is a better outcome than many had expected. Global platforms like the G20 offer an opportunity to air differences, as well as reach a consensus on matters which affect us all. Thank you for watching.